But if I can compare Baltimore to anything, I compare it to like an old vinyl. Like it has dust on it, but once you wipe that dust off, you know, you're gonna find like that classic feel. We the future, the movers and new leaders. Never lose and we rule undefeated. I don't gotta beg you to believe this. I know you know who the king is. I ain't just conceited, I bleed this. Baltimore's known for our, of course, the Maryland Crab, the Baltimore Orioles. John Waters is from here. A lot of history here too with the War of 1812 and the Francis Scott Key Bridge, which is where the Star Spangled Banner was written. That's why our spots are run down because they're old as <laughs> cracks before it, cracks after it, crack heads. Getting to the spot is a trick in itself, especially in Baltimore. <laughs> Baltimore has always been the forgotten city when it comes to skateboarding. DC has their Plasky, Philadelphia has their Love Park. We never had a spot that was iconic like that where people can come and meet up. That classic 90s feel is still preserved in the city right now. I think it's slowly starting to change, but Baltimore is only more known for the wide and the Star Spangled Banner at this point. Baltimore is more of a destination spot now. You have to be in the city, be a part of it. Come have a crab cake, go to the Inner Harbor, go on a date, and for skateboarding, it's awesome.